Hello everyone, Yusuke Wada. Today's uh, October 9th, 2021, the ninth day of the video challenge, a uh, vlog video challenge on LinkedIn. And just recent, just now, you know, since a couple of days, well, actually, a couple few days ago, I decided to um, attach my iPhone. This is which is iPhone 5, not 5S. I see it's 5. I'm using that as a camera. And I decided to stick, um, hold it onto a, onto my arm of my microphone, like one of these things, but it's those, one of those arms that can move around and stick it onto the, um, on a, on a piece of uh, attachments. And that attachment itself is this clamp is the, is for, for the iPhone and all that, but the attached, attached to this microphone, this piece right here. This piece right here, I've got this from um, my other microphone um, attachment that's from Tascam DR44WRL. It's the attachment for that, sticking the um, big microphone on it. And I just realized I can move this around and since I have gray hair, you know, if I twist it around, my hair blends in with the wall so I can move it around, I realized I should do this instead. Oops. And there's a background, my curtain. All right, enough of that. Yesterday, I went to, I just had a walk around, 20 minute walk to my friend, and she's uh, selling kimono. And uh, she asked me wh how we can, how she can, and how they can uh, improve their business. Because kimono nowadays, you know, Unless people are wearing uh, regularly, which is not that often for not too many people, uh, the market itself is shrinking as well. Next next door to my uh, apartment in Tokyo, in, in Okatsumachi, there is a used kimono store and they are recycling it. And for those who are, uh, who people who need to buy the new ones, you know, their business is shrinking as well. In a, very well, their their business is shrinking very fast actually, and it's it's been like that for the last uh, fifteen years like that. And where I took a walk was to Okachi uh, Bakurocho. Bakurocho is a place where all these warehouse uh, inventories are is being sold to the whole market. Uh, to the, it's a, a whole market street, and it's just uh, they sell it to retail, and. That store, kimono store, is doing a whole wholesale and retail at the same time, but still, um, they sent out direct mails, uh, brochures, uh, these postcards to get people in. But you know, it's not helping much, and they need a different method of uh, acquiring, aggregating uh, customers. So I just took a walk, and it's down at the whoops, it's down at the. Uh, Bakurocho, which is at, which is uh, Asakusabashi, at the right in front of the bridge, and it's a walk, twenty minutes walking distance from here. In any case, and then, well, I've said any any case for so many times. I want to introduce you another book, a book that was introduced at FCCJ's, the Four Correspondents Club of Japan, the um, Non Japanese Journalist Club, um, a book break which I just had as had myself, and. It's this book, The Only Gaijin in the Village, by I Ian Maloney. This guy was very interesting. He's the only guy, gaijin, with a foreigner in that village. And it's, he's living in somewhere off Gifu, in the woods of Gifu. And this is one interesting uh, story. And I had to uh, talk about it at the, at the uh, I had to ask a question. Uh, at the press conference, at the conference. Okay, this is, I'm gonna read this off. It's a quote from the, uh, from the book. I just killed a mamushi. What did you do with it? His wife is, I cremated it. His wife says, my dad's gonna be angry. He's like, what? Had I committed some uh, enormous fallbar? Was um, was there some Shinto uh, cleansing ritual that needs to be performed? 
some Buddhist rites might, that might have um, amended for the murder that I have committed. All right. Sure enough, the text wasn't long enough to go for the coming right. It says, you killed the mamushi? Do you still have the body? No, I burnt it. Next time, call me. Why? What you do is, you skin the cook, you skin it, then cook it over the fire. It's delicious. Partially the tail, it goes really well with sake. <laughs> This guy, well, his wife is so used to this uh, ritual in the of uh, rural Japan, Inaka. You ca you catch a poisonous um, snake, uh, which was um, uh, threatening his daughter. You kill it. Then, if you cremated it, his wife gets angry. You're supposed to skin it, then cook it, and um, have it for dinner or snack. Well. This book is really interesting. It's uh, the book is um, from Polygon Book CEO UK, and you know when I was writing a book for my English book for the uh, the man called who's called the Reaper. Um, next time for the next uh, edition or anything like that, I have to look for non Japanese non Japanese publisher because they do not know how to publish Japanese oh English books at all. And this is book. This book was sold in UK. Um, twelve pounds ninety nine pence. I almost said twenty twenty nine ninety nine cents. No, uh, pence. And you can buy it in Amazon, I believe. And it's it's about the only guy living in the village, a year living in rural Japan. And this guy is um, also um, acting professor in um, Gifu's Gifu or Nagoya's um, uh, university. It's an interesting read. Have a good day and see you tomorrow once again. Bye-bye.